Hi, my name is Judy Stewart Goringer, and this is my studio, Studio 300. And I'm in the Anderson Arts Building, which is also called Anderson Alley. Most of my work happens right here at this, in this area. And I paint here uh, almost, not every day, but several days every week. So it's pretty much my full-time thing right now. And I'll put easels together for very large pieces. And I'll do collage work here. I draw here. Um, the very messy stuff, cutting wood, making frames, making my substrates, I do that at home. I have a space at home in my basement. And uh, I love coming here. It's my second home, essentially. I went to high school in Rochester and then went on to my first year of college at RIT as an art and design student. I had one painting class and we did a lot of experimentation, a lot of um, hard edge, um, three-dimensional surfaces, uh, stained canvas, a lot of very experimental work was happening in the 70s uh, internationally, nationally, and as students we sort of followed that, that role. I left RIT, I went out to Rhode Island, and I worked at, in fibers at Rhode Island School of Design for a while. And then I went on to uh, Brockport. I took another painting class with Jack Walski, who's a wonderful guy who's still around. I was sort of a generalist. I took classes in many different areas of, of, of the arts. I always took a lot of art history Studio art is not taught in isolation. Studio art needs the humanities, it needs art history. At that point, I was about three years into college and I decided I wanted to work with kids and I needed a certification in the state of New York, so I went to Nazareth, which was the only college around at the time with certification for undergrad. I finished there at Nazareth, so I had a lot of different colleges. I decided I wanted to work in the city schools. I sort of did the reverse of what a lot of people do. I left su su the suburbs and I went into the city and taught. While I was teaching, I always had a part-time job. And there was a break in between two teaching jobs where I worked uh, in graphics. I was um, working at an ad agency doing paste up and layout work. And I worked in art galleries for about five years. And um, missed working with kids, went back into teaching, and finished teaching uh, after 35 years maybe, I'm trying to remember how many years I taught, 30 something years, and retired. And then, for the first time in my life, I could do what I wanted to do, and that was I wanted to start painting because I had not done any painting since my undergrad years in the early 70s. So I had all those years always involved in the arts but not doing my own work. So that leads me to the show which is um, at Mercer Gallery and that is called Portages and Paths. Portages are traveling from one body of water to another body of water like from one lake to a river or going between two lakes and you have to carry all your gear and I've done all that. So I grew up camping up north in Canada, northern Ontario, and mostly in Algonquin Park. I started as a little kid and kept going right through my whole life up until about uh, the time that my own children went off to college. All those trips, I would take a little sketchbook and I would draw and through all of those experiences, I came out with lots of sketches. And sometimes I have to say I like my sketches better than I like anything else. Because these sketches are more spontaneous and they have a freer line and a, their composition in some cases is even better than any painting I'm going to ever do. But to translate the, the drawing to the painted surface, and keep that, it's, it's, that vitality is very difficult sometimes. And artists work on their paintings and rework their paintings and keep changing them. And you, 
they are not the spontaneous drawing you started out with. So they're different and you just have to, each, each art form is different and sometimes I just love my sketches but nobody ever sees them, just me. And those drawings and sketches have created a body of work and several years ago a friend asked if I would have a show at Mercer and she also has a Canadian experience like mine. She wanted that to be the theme for the show at Mercer and I said sure, I'd love to do it. And as I look around my studio I have work that reflects my impressions from those camping experiences.